TikTok automation is the art of bulk posting short form content on TikTok without actually making any of the content yourself. Think of it as the middleman of social media and it is by far the quickest way to get into the TikTok creativity program and start earning tens of thousands of dollars per month. But you do not want to hire someone from Upwork or Fiverr to do the work for you because that is too expensive and slow and speed is super important on TikTok. I believe I have found the quickest method to bulk produce monetizable shorts for the TikTok creativity program. In fact, these two Reddit stories on screen were created in just one minute. Don't believe me? Well, let me show you because this is a game changer for TikTok automation. Reddit story videos are one of the most popular niches on TikTok despite being very competitive, but they are starting to make a comeback. And by using this AI tool, you can outpost your competitors. I mean, you can get 10 videos out in the same time frame it will take other creators to make just one video. Okay, let's get into it. Your first step is to create an account name and logo. For this niche, this is super simple. Your name can literally be Reddit stories and then a number afterwards. And for the logo, just copy the Reddit logo from Google. With that logo, you can put it on Canva and then you can change the filter so it changes the color combination. I like to do this so my page stands out throughout all the other Reddit pages on TikTok. Once the account is set up, you need to find the Reddit stories. To do that, go onto Google and just type in Reddit stories. Click on this link to load into Reddit and a thread will pop up with all of the Reddit stories. You want to sort it by top and then this month. That will give you a list of all the trending viral Reddit stories that you will want to use. Now you have the stories, it is all about bulk producing content. And this is where you are gonna stand out from the rest of the crowd because most people then load up Canva or CapCut to edit all of the videos. And then the final short they create looks unprofessional and takes far too long. And as I said already, time is money. Speed is everything on TikTok. So instead, I use AI automation to do everything for me. The best tool to use is called Visa and I've linked it in the description and pinned comment. The best way I can describe it is that it prints short form content for you. AI is just that good nowadays that if you are not using it, you're falling behind. As soon as I enter the website, it gives me a choice as to which type of video to generate. So let's click on Reddit stories. All you have to do then is go over to the Reddit story post you want to generate, copy the URL and post it into Visa. A few moments later. And quite literally, the whole video is done for you. As you can see on the right hand side, the video is done for me. There's nothing I really need to do. But regardless, I'm going to show you the customizations I like to use on these Reddit videos. And make sure you stay tuned throughout because there's gonna be one particular setting you need to change because it will be the difference between your videos getting blocked from the FYP or going viral. You can change the length of each subtitle and add or remove emojis from each line, as well as of course changing the transcript. But I've never really needed to do this because every single time I've uploaded a Reddit story, it's come out really accurate. With styles, you can customize the subtitles with an array of settings. I personally like to use work sans. I also like to add strokes to the font and brighten the subtitles. You can also choose what active colors you want. These work in rotation throughout the post, so it's not the same subtitle color throughout the video. Little things like the changing color helps to keep viewer attention much higher and increase average watch time, because as we all know, the average TikTok user has the attention span of a goldfish. You can also change the template of the subtitles. I go with Reddit since it is Reddit stories at the end of the day. With the next tab, you can change the voice settings and speed of delivery. Now in terms of the voice, Matthew is absolutely fine as a voiceover. In fact, I think it's one of the best. But in terms of speed of delivery, I would increase this because as we know, the quicker the words come out, it gives people less opportunity to scroll off your TikTok. I personally use 130%. If it sounds fast, that's because it is. But if you look at other popular Reddit story accounts, they use exactly the same settings. Their stories are very rapid as well. I know I said it before, but I'm gonna say it again. Speed is everything on TikTok. If you scroll down, you can even add comments from the Reddit thread into the video as well. Next is the video tab. And if you were listening before, you would have heard me say that one part is super important. And that is this part. TikTok is starting to flag Minecraft, GTA, and Subway Surfers gameplay for unoriginal content and your video will get removed from the FYP. So it is highly recommended to upload your own gameplay for the background of the video. Now it is fine to use Minecraft, Subway Surfers and GTA gameplay, but you don't want to use the popular ones anymore. I'm gonna show you exactly what you should do. Go onto YouTube and type in non-copyright background gameplay and then find a video that looks pretty decent and has under a thousand views. The reason you don't want the video to have a lot of views because that means less people have used it, which means it's less likely to be blocked by TikTok. Click on the video you like and then copy its URL and post it into another website called Y2Mate. This website enables you to download any YouTube video HD free of charge. Once the video is downloaded, you can upload it to Visa. Oh, and don't worry, when you add the video, it's probably gonna look a little bit weird because it's in landscape mode, but I'll show you exactly how to change that slightly later. I would recommend changing the background video 
every three posts or so, so TikTok will not start to flag your content as unoriginal and ban you from the FYP. Next, with the music, do not add any. You don't need it. Plus, TikTok is actually starting to ban accounts that use copyrighted music not from the TikTok app. If you desperately want to add the trending sound from TikTok, I would recommend that you do so from the app itself. With the screenshot tab, you can change the Reddit frame, but the one that's default selected, I actually prefer. And finally, with the tools tab, you can add custom emojis and GIFs. You can also add your logo, but I would not recommend this since TikTok has started to crack down on content that uses logos because they think it's repurposed content and are starting to ban it again from the creativity program and the FYP. This is also where you can change the dimension of the background video. As you can see, it's in landscape mode. But if you go to resize, you can change it to 9 by 16 portrait mode. This is the correct aspect ratio for a TikTok and you can also drag the slider so it's in the middle of the video. And after that, everything should be done. So you can click download. Here's a snippet of the final short we created. I'm a gas station clerk and I somehow just saved someone's life without knowing it. As the title says, I'm a gas station clerk. I work closing shift which is 3 p.m. to 10 p.m., though I don't usually get out of there until 10.30 to 11 because after I lock the doors at 10, I have to stay and count the drawer and print reports. Today, I got to work about 30 minutes early. At 2 30-ish I pulled into the parking lot. My mom usually helps me with my closing work so she was with me but she had to use the vehicle for a few things. She and I sat and talked in the car for about 10 minutes before I finally got my things together to take into work. There was a yellow van sitting at one of the gas pumps. It looked a lot like one of our vendors, so I didn't question it much at first. It was there when I first pulled in. Once you become familiar with VSub and know exactly the type of settings you want to use on each video, without exaggeration, a week's worth of content could be created in just 10 minutes. And the best part is you can post this content on TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram, benefiting from growth on all three platforms. But especially on TikTok, nowadays, it is not enough to just post a viral video. You need to package it well. Look at other big accounts in the Reddit stories niche and for their viral videos, copy the hashtags and part of the description that they use. Because if it works for them, it can work for you too. With consistent posting twice a day of good quality content, you can definitely get into the TikTok creativity program in under a month. Oh, and by the way, Vsub doesn't just do Reddit story videos. It does would you rather videos as well. Here's a final short I created with that. Live without internet or live without AC heater. Eat only sweet food or eat only spicy food. Never travel again or always be in a crowded place. Plus, VSub is expanding with new features getting added very soon. If you want to get started with VSub, make sure you check out by the link in my description and pinned comment. You can start for absolutely free, but if you do want to produce content without the watermark, which is what I do recommend for TikTok, then you will need to get a paid subscription. But as I said before, for the amount of top quality shorts you can create in little to no time, it is definitely worth it. And for full transparency, I currently have the lifetime premium package. I want to thank Harmony Beats for supplying the background music for today's video. You can check them out also by the link in my description and pinned comment. Due to very popular demand, I can finally announce that I am creating a complete TikTok growth course with information I have never seen anyone talk about on YouTube before. It will have knowledge I've acquired throughout my years of growing multiple TikTok accounts to monetization and beyond. But because this knowledge is so valuable, I want to keep the information low key and not just saturate the market. So I'm making this course invite only. So if you're serious about growing on TikTok, make sure you fill out the survey by the video description or the pinned comment. And if I believe you're a good fit for the course, I will reach out to you. In the meantime, if you want even more free TikTok advice videos, make sure you do subscribe down below and hit the bell notification button. And also check out the video right here where I explain exactly how you can get into the TikTok shop affiliate program, which is paying sometimes even more than the creativity program. I'll see you guys there.